just want to show you something here. So, we can stop this, right? And you can just nudge it, you see, and it starts going, okay? But what I've done, if you look at this, see? Okay, so it's kind of, it's, it accelerates in that direction, right? But what's actually happened is, is because the actual motor's phasing is not really a known quantity as such, you have to keep doing it by experimentation. So if I go like that, you see, it's going backwards. It's actually turning in the opposite direction. And I think what's actually happened is, is whilst it, there's a preference for that because of just a slight imbalance in, in the way that the electrics are set up, probably due to the reeds or maybe the relays themselves. But what we've got here, effectively, oh no, it's returning that way. But I think we've got a partial phase shift of 180 degrees so that it can go in either direction, it just prefers that one. So what I mean basically, and that's spinning quite fast, there's got very little torque on it. Okay, and if we take the, okay it's on 3 volts, so if I take the resistors out, now you can see it's really going for it, and it's actually quite difficult, there's lots of torque in there. Alright, if I can, whoa, if I can stop it, whoa. there, now it's gone in the opposite direction. So we've got an opposite phase shift, whee, see? And it, the motor itself is actually quite torquey, there's quite a lot of twist in that one. Right, and what happens is the, the... And I can hold it there, like that, and it's kicking either way, as you can see, because it's actually pulling in the opposite direction, and it just happens to be whichever one the momentum carries. And so what that shows is that, that phase advance 180 degree phase advance really works, you see, because it's kicking it in either direction. It's kind of, you know, the supply itself keeps cutting out, but you look, see, that isn't turning, it's just oscillating. And what it's doing is it, it yeah, we've got a phase shift of 180 degrees, and so what's happening is that I'm stopping it and making it go backwards, and it's kicking backwards, and then I stop it again. And that's where I get the oscillations from, you see. It's really quite hard to control. It keeps cutting the supply out. Yeah, there you go. So it can go in either direction, and it's obviously a 180 degree phase shift. If you put it onto like a, a normal phase shift, which in this case is uh, 60 degrees, right, then it turns slowly. It actually turns slowly, you know. But that's got a lot of torque with it because of the fact that it's pulling, watch it, there you go, power supply put it on its own and kicked it off. It's only running on 3 volts, right? And that's as fast as the relays basically go, because I can increase the voltage and it just doesn't go any faster. So that's as fast as the relays will allow it to go, you see. And of course, well, what's nice now is that this is quite solid so I can, and you can see it's kicking. It's really, really kicking. And what it is, is that, like I say, because of the fact that the supply itself here, this phase of the motor is a bit of an unknown. And also, because it's actually a, a multi-phase brushless motor, right, what I've done is I've wired it all inadvertently in a 180 degree phase shift. So that it's ahead. That what it is, is that this guy here, right, is actually energised when the position is here, you see, so it's 180 degrees out, and so obviously it continues via the momentum. Now that's really good, because that shows you a way of speeding up the motor without having to increase the voltage, which I knew of beforehand, because um, they were experimenting in a place that I was at previously with phase advance to make a motor turn faster. And so that's an interesting thing. It's not, I don't think it's anything that can be patentable, but it's certainly uh, an interesting thing. So, yeah. But we've got it working. There you go. See? It can go in either direction. There you go. You see? And it, it, it's equally as torquey in either direction. So it's not a sequence error. And I know it's not a sequence error because the sequence is, is correct. You see? But I've just got 180 degree phase shift on it. So that's quite interesting. Anyway, that's the relay. Now we've got to go follow the face, definitely.